Welcome back everyone to an episode of Grease! So guys, we have built up a decent sized amount of troops with the production we are now getting from Ethiopia and I, I just want to say this is like really insanely awesome. We also have a little bit of of the uh, Philippines. Not really not really wanted them for their population boost. I wanted them because they offered an actual strategic minerals value, which is what we needed. So I'm glad we have that. We also have one soldier right over here from our Ionian Islands, which we gained. I mean, last episode, wow, we did so much last episode, it's kind of insane. Um, the British are apparently at war against the uh, Ottoman Empire. Strangely enough, I'm not involved in this, which is kind of making me think what is going on. Um, yeah, what is going on? Um, is it, okay, okay, is there any way I can join your war? Because I'd love to take some land from the British right now. So yeah, because the, the Ottomans are trying to acquire land from Palestine, which has apparently pushed the other Europeans to the breaking point. So now they're like, no, you cannot do that. That's kind of stupid. Yada, 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 taxes and stuff. So yeah, it seems like the British are just going to go in and destroy all the Ottomans' lands. Because as we know, they're not going... This The Ottomans are not going to win. Let, let's be real here. Without the big, gigantic French allies, the Ottomans are going to get crushed pretty heavily. <laughs> so, wow. A war I wanted to happen, happened without me even being in it. But, yeah. Um, it actually does put some holes into some things, because that means I can't actually go to war against the uh, Ottomans for five more years. Which kind of stinks, because then that means that it takes five more years before I'll be able to do anything. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess whoop de doo that they, that, that they, the, that the uh, Egyptians now get somebody actually caring about them, but bad for us that we're not going to be able to declare war on the Ottomans for a couple of years. Uh, and now we have, huh, now we have, uh, you know, an actual decent sized army. I mean, there is a chance we could go to war with them by ourselves, but the chance of us winning are slimmer than none. Um, we do have a decent-sized army, though. That's a good thing, is that we actually do have a decent-sized army, but the chance of us winning is still very unlikely. Let's see. We have almost a lot of our troops spread out. Um... We can increase this by just a little bit more. There we go. 10% mobile, mobilization impact, and yeah. So yeah, we just kind of get to watch the uh, the British, you know, conquer all this land. Um, you know, we could... wish we could kind of hope this was ours, our little invasion. But I know if we tried to go to war right now, we would definitely get get slaughtered because the British would not be able to join in. Yeah. The British would not be able to join in and we could not. Quite frankly, we could not fight against the French by ourselves. I mean, it's, it's already unlikely that we'd probably win with another people helping us, but definitely not with uh, us by ourselves. So, yeah, but at least, at least we get to see in a short reign the destruction of the, of the uh, Ottomans by the uh, British. That's going to be the cool part about all this, is that we do get to see some destruction. It's just not the destruction we wanted yet. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, kind of kind of brings a sad tear to my eye, actually, because I really did want to see this uh, destruction happen on our terms. But, again, we're just going to have to see it happen on their terms. We're having really insanely bad money woes. I don't know why. Um, let's just decrease the amount of spending we're doing. Hmm. Go like that. There we go. Okay, that decreased the amount of spending we're doing. And apparently our general has died, so a new general took over. General Amelius this. He's really good at attacking. And he's a... His background, he's a priest. Wow. That guy's a priest, everyone. A, a, a recent general is a priest, and we're getting too much money now. I'm trying to balance this out right now, but it's really becoming insanely difficult to balance out the money and everything we're gaining. Okay, 
shut down the presses or I don't really I don't really care if presses gain more power okay and we just got more steam turbines that should help us out with money which means we can actually go back down again let's go down to like 17 uh, and then let's go to supply limits fertilization production output we don't really have any of those things so that wouldn't really help us analytical philosophy yes Okay, let's get some more analytical philosophy and start philosophizing as the ancient people once did. Okay, and let's try to produce, just just try to keep our army up just a little bit better maintenance. So we don't lose it as quick because we don't want that to happen because it's always starting to go down. Emancipationism gains some prestige. That's good. And yes. We also could go to war with the uh, Egyptians right now for some particularly agonizing land, but I don't really want to, because it doesn't really seem like it would be worth my time to go to war with them. And, wow, that jumped really, really quick. <laughs> like, that was at 11, and now it's back up to 13. Wow. Um, okay, now we got really lots and lots of money again. Let's just use that to help produce bigger armies, because I think that's what we should honestly be doing. Is it, oh, and put that down to 1%. Uh, right about there. Okay. We are trying to keep a good balanced army to make sure that we don't, like, die or anything like that. Because that'd be really terrible. And considering we haven't even built a factory yet, this this factory is really not just going to be built. They, how much capitalists do we have? 600 and, 664 capitalists in our land, and we still can't build one factory. That is insanely bad. Uh, okay, but at least our factories, at least we're trying. And liberalism is starting to increase in our country. Um, we just have to take down those pesky conservatives, and we should be fine. It's going to take a little bit, though, because they are a little bit pesky and annoying and a lot of other things I can't say on camera, but yeah. Uh, we also have this going on, we also have this going on, the, the Australians actually have no alliances. Could we use this to our advantage? No, because they're complete and utter jerks and they really don't want to help me out here. Okay, um, in, ter in terms of internal crises, we have all these firing off. Hmm, what if I were to actually support one? What if I was actually support one, maybe that would actually, like, fire off. Apparently people are starting to offer me alliances. Does that mean I'm like an important nation or something? Um, let's see, who's stronger, Portugal or Denmark? They are both about equal strength. Portugal, mm, let's see, were they equal in strength though? Let's see, Port like, let's go Portugal, Portugal. Portugal is mostly powered in terms of what? 5% power in terms of military, ooh, that's terrible. Denmark. Okay, so they would have a slightly better, like, military, but they would have a slightly worse score. Um, ultimately, these guys are worse, but, eh, we can accept it. And actually, we could just accept both, to be honest with you. Why am I, I don't know why I'm, like, trying to pick one or the other, but we could just accept both. It actually gives us a much bigger and stronger alliance than we used to have. Which actually does help us out in the long run. We can now also choose better economic positions to help us out. Um, the liberalists would really like if we did this. That's very good. Um, the liberals would totally like if we did this, so I'm going to do this. So that means we got even more stuff. And we're just trying to make our people as liberals, as liberalistic as possible. As our country is slowly starting to become more and more favored among other nations so now we're actually gaining like we're actually pretty high up there now now that we actually have a decent sized military people are actually starting to respect us a little bit more we're actually getting really close to gaining great power actually I mean not great power second day power that's really good um justify war establish we could go establish protectorate over over um Yemen and gain some um important uh, opium trades, but I really don't want to. It doesn't really seem like I'd really gain much from it, if I must be honest. But yeah, we still have to focus in on the, uh, let's see, when does the peace treaty with the Ottomans end? Uh, let's see, when does your peace truce last? Until, until 1875, so 
they'll be at peace in 1875. So we have four more years to do absolutely nothing except build up a massive army, which we could actually do. Wow, we could build up a good sized army. But we need to keep expanding too so that we can manage this full sized army. Um, so I guess the next, the next nation we could expand into is somebody just to demand a concession. So, who would that be? Hmm. Got to attack Haiti. <laughs> uh, just for funds and giggles and stuff like that. Uh, no, I'm not going to establish protectorate over Morocco. That'd be kind of stupid. They only have like 146k people and they have like no valuable resources in their main capital. So, no. That's kind of stupid. Can't go after Algeria because France decided to be nice to them this time. And apparently Egypt is now in the sphere of the British, which is actually good. Because now the Ottomans can't gain any of the land that they would need usually to civilize. And apparently Persia is also in their own sphere, which is goodish. Um, the Nam... I still think the Nam would be a good nation to go to war against. It's just, it's so powerful right now with its alliances. I mean, how is China support both of these? Brunei, not really that good of an alliance. Nick Jed. Uh, hmm. I have to think of this, but yeah, with our new alliances, and our new kind of seafaring nations, and holy shoot, the race for colonialization has begun. Well, I'm not really in this. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of watch how this all turns out and use it to my advantage or disadvantage. Transvaal, I think that has massively amounts of. Ooh. This has good amounts of, like, resources. Hmm, and we could get some of that resource, or maybe, I don't know. Let's just continue the game, and I'll keep thinking about it while we just sit here. Or the maybe the best strategy is just we sit here and just wait to see what happens. You know, maybe we don't need to conquer, maybe we don't need to go after anyone, maybe it's just better if we just sit here and do absolutely nothing. Though that sounds really boring even to me as I'm saying it, so probably not. <laughs> uh, but there's a... Oh, come on! When it finally fired! Oh, come on! I needed that! Oh. You know, when it finally fires was the time when I was supposed to be cheering for joy, but it happened again. Uh, but luckily, I'm soon building up enough of... How'd you get three? Okay, the game is cheating now. There is no possible way. Oh. Okay. Never mind, the game is not cheating. Hey, would you like to be friends? Hmm. Let's see. Why would you guys not want to be friends? Too many alliances. Okay. Okay, because I was about to yell at this computer saying, that is totally unfair. You can't have that many great alliances. That becomes cheap at that point, if you know what I mean, but, uh, Spain is now not a great al alliance anymore, which is good for us, in our future war against them, yeah, we just need to find, yeah, I don't think they would want to form an alliance with us, because they're a little bit too big, so probably not them, the British, you guys want to form an alliance, because you guys are puppets of the British with me, uh, we're also starting to gain less money. Taxing the poor usually helps a lot. So, yeah. Okay, we got research points, even more. Get some social sciences. Keep po politically upgrading everything. <sighs> hmm. And it seems like, yep, the colonialization of everything starting to begin. Uh, France is starting off really, really strong. Insanely strong, actually. I do believe this might be an entirely big French outpost game. So them being alliance to the Ottomans is really quite problematic. I'm... Is anyone trying to spear the Ottomans? I mean, seriously. Um... Because who's the closest to trying to spear them? The Russians are. Okay. So if the Russians were to spear the... Were to spear them, maybe that would actually cause more problems for us because the Russians are even bigger than everyone else. Mm. Mm. Gosh dang it. 
so many things in this game that you have to watch out for. And I can't attack them right now. It's just not gonna work. Hmm. Going after China. Maybe. Uh, going after any of them, maybe. Hmm. It might be the only way, though. It seriously might be the only way. Get a little cosplay like against China, conquer just even if I can't conquer just a fraction of them, that will increase my population by an insane amount. Which might be just enough. War against China though is insanely risky. Even by you know standards. They're an insanely powerful country, but oh, we need them we need to get what we need to get. Alright, alright, you know what? I'm going for it. A war against China to gain the region of Kanzu. This region right here. You, if you guys have been in my Canadian list, but you guys know the significance of the importance of that. So, yeah. One war against China. It might be the end of us. It might be the beginning of us. We don't know yet. Um, this is definitely going to be a site to be held. I'll even... Let's see, how many men do we have here? Three, six, ten. This ten. So we need ten more transports. I'll even be sending transports to go over there. So I think I actually need to be... If I'm going to fight this, I'm going to actually need to fight this. Okay, I'm kind of nervous now. This could be, like, the deciding factor. If we could gain... If we could honestly gain the power from the... From the uh, J Chinese and just gain even a fraction of their power we'll be able to instantly overpower the Ottomans and be able to start doing much more crazy stuff. Five. 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 Okay. There we go. And with that, maybe then we could actually start doing much more crazier stuff. And the Chinese! Yeah, I don't even really need to say this one, because that one's just self-explanatory. Military cost and... Belgium! Holy shoot! You guys are... Ex Expansionist. Oh wow. Okay, and then I guess they're not going after the Congo. Uh, zero point zero one infamy. Wow, that was kind of a joke. So, um, when how long do we have this Carlos Belli for? 1874. We only have it for one year. So we don't. I don't think I have enough time to go send my troops over yet. But um, let's see. What region are we try to get again? So we make sure we get it. So it does have a high. Oh my gosh, that's such a high population density. Um, let's see. Uh, there we go. Diplomacy-wise, that's going to give us a lot. But what region is this called again? South Zahaili. Zahaili, okay. Zahaili, Zahaili. I'm probably butchering this. There it is. Please, please, please join in, guys. You guys are all my friends. Okay. So, Portugal is not my friend. Denmark is not my friend. What? The British didn't join in? Hmm. Okay. I may have to, like, become buddy buddies with them again. Give me a second, because that's a terrible idea if I go to war with these guys. What? You guys are my mentors. How are you guys not being friends with me? Uh, okay. Let's go get a white piece then. Seems like my expansionist goals are kind of lame. Apparently, I can't actually do them. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is our change in, in tactics that I was talking about. I'm not going to give up just yet, but I have a feeling I'm about to go get attacked by like 20 Chinese people now. We'll, fu we'll figure this out in a second. Oh gosh, that, that's kind of aggravating. So. So I needed this one more than ever, but I guess this is kind of proving to me that I do need to stop relying on the British for everything, which is, I guess, a better lesson in itself than anything else they can teach you. So let's see. Any of my colonies being invaded? Yes. Any other stuff being invaded? Well, it seems like a big, gigantic, epic battle between Japan and stuff over here. Um... Uh, Britain doesn't want to form an alliance with me, which is kind of weird, considering... Uh, infamy, or sphere, or current wars, that's why. Alright, well, let's see. Will they just... Can we just give up? No. 
The Chinese won't even give us the chance to give up. Which is kind of mean. But we'll send our troops all the way over there and see what happens. <laughs> oh, guys, this is going to be either the most terrible war I've ever fought or the terrible war that I fought. I don't know which one, but we're going to have to wait until next episode, guys, because I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.